In this video, I'll show you how to fix the Epic Games Launcher error code LS0013, which is usually followed by the text, please verify the installation. So I'll get straight into it, and we first need to close down any background applications by coming over to the Start menu and searching for Task Manager. Then head over to the Task Manager app, and from this list of processes, we just need to close down any background applications that we're not currently using, as sometimes these can cause conflicting issues with the Epic Games Launcher. So for example, I'm not currently using the Microsoft Store, so I can just right click on this and select End Task. And once you've closed down any background applications, we can then close out of this window. And the next thing we're gonna do is clear our games cache. And we can do this by heading over to the Start menu, searching for Run, and then head over to the Run icon. Inside of here, we need to type in percentage sign local app data percentage sign and hit Enter. Come all the way down here until you find the folder Epic Games Launcher and we need to double click on this come inside of saved and inside of here you should see this web cache folder with some numbers and all we're simply going to do is rename this file so I'm just going to add a letter a at the end of this and hit enter and in order to rename this folder you'll need to make sure the epic games launcher has closed down first so once you've done that we can close out of this window and next thing you need to do is head over to the start menu, search for settings, and then come over to the settings tab. From the left hand side, scroll all the way down to Windows Update and select this, and then just press this check for updates button to ensure we are running the latest version of Windows, as once again, outdated software can cause compatibility issues with our games. So once you've ensured you're fully up to date here, we can then minimize this window, and we're going to come over to our Epic Games Launcher from our desktop, and we need to right click on this, come inside of properties, inside of the compatibility tab, and ensure that disable full screen optimizations and run this program as administrator are both ticked here. Press apply and okay. And then we're gonna double click to launch the Epic Games Launcher. Now come over to library and find the game that you're trying to launch. And we can try launching the game from here to see if that's now fixed the issue. Now, if that's still not working, the last thing you can try is come over to the game that you're having problems with and selecting these three little dots here, and then come over to manage. At the top here, you'll see this option for verify files. And we're just gonna go ahead and press this verify button. And this is going to check our files just to ensure that everything's in order and nothing's damaged or missing. So once this verification gets to 100%, you can then once again try relaunching the game. Now, if you've tried all of these steps and that's still not working, the very final thing you can try is just unplugging any external devices that you may have connected to your computer. So that could be USB sticks or external controllers. And then once again, you can try relaunching the game. Now, if this video did help you, then please consider dropping a like and subscribing. Until next time.